Read the complete test procedure and external control procedure prior to performing the Febridex test. Febridex external controls should be performed with every new lot, every new shipment, and every first-time operator. Users with color-impaired vision should not interpret the test. After performing the external controls, as indicated in the external control instructions, you will need the following items which are provided in the Febridex test kit. 25 single-use Febridex tests. One package insert. You will also need a timer, gloves, alcohol, gauze, and a bandage. Febridex test procedure. Select a Febridex test and check expiry date on the foil pouch. Tear open the foil pouch and remove the device. An unused test device will show three faint orange lines in the result window. Select finger and massage from base to tip. Cleanse the fingertip with alcohol. Twist the protective lancet tab 90 degrees and pull to remove. Firmly press the lancet against the patient's finger to puncture the skin. Wipe away the first drop of blood. Massage the entire finger from the base to tip to obtain a large drop of blood that hangs from the finger. Place the blood collection tube below the finger without touching the finger. Fill the blood collection tube completely with blood by touching the drop of blood to the tip of the blood collection tube. Ensure it only touches the hanging drop of blood and not the finger. If the drop of blood does not completely fill the blood collection tube, massage the finger again and add more blood. Warning. Incomplete filling of the blood collection tube could lead to erroneous test results. If the tube is not full, stop, discard, retest. Once the blood collection tube is completely full, lay the test on a flat surface. Rotate the blood collection tube to touch the test strip. You will hear a click. Make sure the blood has been transferred to the test strip. Blood should be visible on the test strip. If the blood does not immediately transfer to the test strip, one, try pushing the blood collection tube down to make sure it is touching the test strip. If the blood still has not transferred, two, reverse the blood collection tube back to its original position and add more blood. Three, if the blood still has not transferred, stop, discard, retest, once you see that the blood has transferred, activate the test by firmly pressing the buffer release button until it clicks to deliver the buffer. Make sure the buffer release button is completely pushed down. Check that blood is flowing across the result window. If blood is not visible in the result window within 30 seconds, firmly repress the buffer release button until clicking is audible. If the blood still is not visible after pressing the buffer release button again, stop, Discard, retest. Blood will continue to flow across the result window to the blood clearance window. Verify test is ready for interpretation. This test has a result window that is clear of blood. This test still has blood in the result window and is not ready to read. Wait up to one hour until the result window is clear. The blood clearance window must contain pink-red. If the blood clearance window does not contain pink-red after one hour, stop, discard, retest. Do not read results after one hour or before 10 minutes. Febridex test interpretation. Faint or incomplete test lines may still be interpreted as present. Bacterial infection, valid test. A gray-black line CRP plus a blue control line is interpreted as a bacterial infection and a valid test. Non-bacterial etiology, valid test. Red line MXA plus blue control line, red line MXA plus gray-black line plus blue control line, 
no test line plus blue control line only. Invalid test. The absence of a blue control line indicates an invalid test. If an invalid test occurs, the test must be discarded and the patient retested. This completes the Febridex test instructional video. Febridex has an external control procedure with separate instructions. Perform the controls as indicated in the external control instructions.